already pre-qualified to the Winter National team, so what are your goals here? Uh, I'm not going to say about it like that. Like for me, I just want to go out here, again, do my job, show them, you know, gonna hit the teams, throw some upgrades. But I don't want to think about it like that. You know, I think when we come out and compete, you should always take it very seriously. It doesn't matter if you're pre-qualified or not. This is the Olympic year, so take it very seriously. Are you looking to qualify to any of the international events coming up? All of them. If I, just kidding. No, if I could go to all of them, I would. But, you know, whatever I'm picked for, I'll be ready. Um, but I, I wish I could go to all of them. But I know there's so many good guys here. So it's going to see you know, who's the best fit for what, what weekend, who needs to rest. So, yeah. You recently got back from competing in France. What were some of your takeaways from that those recent competitions? Um, it was actually really fun. I had my first moment that I got to anchor on high bar. And I never got to do it in college. Um, Levi Anderson actually did it all the time. So I was really jealous. But uh, I anchored on high bar. I had to hit to win the meet. And I hit my routine thankfully. I sucked at this mount and that's probably one of the greatest feelings of my life. So that was a good takeaway, but also just, you know, seeing all the other athletes out there, what their mindset is for this Olympic year. Um, you know, everyone's walking in, so it's it's good. And to be out there on Genova, also kind of see how the judges are over there, it was really nice. But overall, I love going over there. Aside from the few international competitions coming up, do you have any other plans to compete internationally or are you staying homebound? Yeah, so I mean, once this meet happens this weekend, you know, all the World Cups assignments will happen and then uh, we have championships and trials and hopefully the Olympics, you know. So, but after the Olympics, I'm going to be going back to Germany and doing the Bundesliga again. So I'll be there for like seven weekends in a row. So, and hopefully, I get invited back to Swiss Cup. And if, we were talking about this earlier, but if any of the F1 teams could invite you to be a part of their paddock, if you win a medal at the Olympics, which team would you want to? I'm not afraid to say it, Red Bull. <laughs> I know a lot of people won't agree, but hey, I respect all the teams, but it's just because I was a kid growing up, you know, the blue and yellow red car.